And this is Banjo Pilot Part 10. Part, parto, parte dies. Yep, so I, I realized there is no music. I, I don't know what the fuck happened, but, um, so anyway, this is post commentary for like the first time ever. So I don't even remember what the fuck I did. I just re I just remember that I was a fucking badass. <coughs> yeah. Oh, we got boost, double boost, triple boost because of the golden feather, and we just vaporize everybody with the mumbo token skull thing, and we just go really far ahead. I actually do really well. All right, maybe not really good on Clinker's River, but I do pretty decent. I stay in. Fr first, second, third, for a, I think, I think I do at least for a lot of the race like in that, like pretty close to up front, I mean everybody does get pretty like crammed together right? but um, yeah you know how it is and of course I end up hitting a lot of trees so yeah and I, don't, I actually, do I do that good? I think, I don't remember but actually I, I've recorded Hmm, how much, how much have I recorded since I am commentating this? I think I've recorded, like, three more parts of this. Um, yeah. And then I go get this, Globo, and I'm just... Oh, yeah. And then it just automatically puts you into a boost, so I got first. Yeah, that's freaking amazing. What time are we at? Wow, we're only at a minute 40. Well... Shit. Um. Yeah, we're in first! With 10 more points and 34, we're tied with Banjo for first. So, let's start up on Grunty Industries. How appropriate for Gruntilda. Alright, let's get it over with. Since, you know, there's 16 tracks we have to go through and we're on 8, I want to say. I think I did 6 last time. I think I do six this time, too. And yeah, as soon as I'm done spinning, I get hit by a fucking meteor. Or I I'm just going to call those meteors. Because that's what I imagine, like, that kind of look of a meteor when it comes crashing down to Earth. Probably not that big. It's probably be the size of a pebble, but I don't care. And yeah, I only get one of the boosts from that global, which pissed me off. But I got a note! A note to make everything better, right? Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Just wait till you see the amount of Cheeto pages we have at the end of this. <laughs> I can't wait. I know almost the exact number, but I don't remember exactly. I, all I know is that I actually end up beating the endurance race, I think, in the next part. And then I do some, like, random ass shit in the next part, too. Like, just showing off some of the, uh, like, like quick play and time attack yeah but after this like the next main thing I'm doing in this game is the jiggy challenges those are gonna be kind of annoying but eh, I don't really care they're they're, they're gonna be much easier than the fucking Jinjo Grand Prix that's faux show anyway back to our my amazing racing skills um Yep, uh, get, yep, boost, fuck yeah, and then I hit that. Yeah, I always forget, like, it disappears on the screen when you're about to, when you're, like, right in front of it, but I think I can just go through it, even though I can't see it, which, you know, ma makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, if you can't really, if it's not there anymore, it just kind of disappears, I'm like, oh, well, it looks safe now, and besides, racing games, they're, especially this one, Oh yeah, I got I fucking just robbed that. I should have gotten hit there, but I went through the boost. And um back to what I was saying though, like what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, five hundred and twenty seven, yeah. But um uh, Yeah, whatever. I don't remember now. I'm so caught up in the winning moment. That oh yeah. <laughs> like I I just lose track of what I'm doing and I just hit random things because it's a racing game you gotta watch out for projectiles make sure you're not gonna run into like those ice cube things gotta watch for people boosting by you try to keep your lead and I just whenever something disappears in front of me I'm like okay well it's just clear path I can just kinda go through it but whatever we're still gonna win because we are on this place I, don't, I didn't read what it was I feel very bad now 
I kn I think it's Go Gobi's Desert or something like that. Gobi's Desert? Yeah, that seems right. I don't know. I don't know my banjo kazooie. All I know is, well, actually, I can't really say that. I don't know my banjo games for the Nintendo 64 or banjo kazooie nuts and bolts. I know this game and the other banjo for the Game Boy Advance, which is Grunty's Revenge. I love that game. Uh, it's such a small game, I mean, especially for a banjo kazooie game. I mean, I've, I've seen Let's Plays, but I don't really like watched all the way through of them, so it's kind of like, I, th I kind of know stuff, but then again, I don't. Anywho, um, yep, uh, you know, just keep that solid fourth, or first, fourth, what the fuck, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this place is, I don't know, the, tr like, the, uh, the width of the track is real, like, I feel it's bigger than anything else and like the turns are so much easier because they're so wide it's just so much easier and yeah I get third I should have gotten the boost I mean I, actually it wouldn't have mattered I probably would have gotten third anyway but it will ah la di da di da di da I don't like post commentary this is boring I'm not actually playing I'm just watching myself oh god we're only at six and a half minutes uh, but we're still in first, so I don't care. Ha ha, Banjo, you suck. <laughs> oh, look, we're on nine. Set the freezing furnace. Freezing furnace. I do really good on this one, actually. I stand first for I basically the whole thing. I think I go into, like, third once. And, yep, get a little flippy do. Oh, well, yeah, see? I'm in, I was in third, and I went to second. And then I just boost ahead, and, uh... Actually, catch up to Kazooie, which I don't get how Kazooie can be in first. Kazooie sucks majorly. But, yep, I go this way to get the note. I, I usually try to get one note per, like, race. Just, like, just for the Cheeto pages, really. It, it helps a lot. And then this, this is just straightforward. Straightforward boost. Easy. So you can't miss it. Ah, uh, so easy, and <clears throat> look, I keep a pretty good distance, like, the whole race, and get this note, get up to this boost, and I basically stay here for the rest of this track, um, yeah, not much to say about that, it ha it's been a while since I've been able to stand first, since we're on the endurance race, and not, like, what is it, the, um, uh, what, Bottles Grand Prix, I think, yeah, Bottles Grand Prix, oh, gotta do a little flippy do. Was <laughs> flipsy dip? There, I'm gonna call that the flipsy dip. Like you're flipping and you're dipping. <clears throat> that is perfect. The flipsy dip. Flipsy dip. I don't care if it has an actual name. It is now the flipsy dip. So yeah, let's just continue on, motherfucker. I said, me in the past. Thank you. Oh, we're at six hundred forty-nine. Hoorah! Oh my god. So, yeah, we're basically in first with, I, I think we could get like sixth now and still be in first, but I don't want to get sixth. I want to get an even bigger lead because I am just fucking awesome like that. And I just want my ego to be even bigger. Uh, you know, crack cocaine. Crack cocaine! Alright. No, I don't like to do drugs. Oh, Mumbo just fucked Jinjo up. <laughs> Dude, wow. Mumbo. That's not even cool, man. Alright. But this track is really easy because, like, the big bubble space. I don't know. Like, you see on the map, there's, like, the track, and then it, like, bubbles off because there's, like, little spots that with trees on them. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this track is just easy because of those. Because you can just, you know, fly perfectly through them. Like, it's not that hard. Just gotta throw some ice cubes down. Fuck people up. And I think I stay in first for most of this track, too. Um, yeah. But you know what I just noticed? Like, the backgrounds. Like, the... Tell me... Like, I just noticed that they keep repeating every time I turn. Like... Okay, well, that's, that's a bad example. But, like, every... Every right turn just repeats. Oh, there's Mumbo's house. Like, it's not a very big... Like, it barely moves. That's... There's lazy like that, my dude. 
Like, when I turn, I don't, like... Okay, I might be able to see them still, because they're pretty fucking big. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm just so bored. I'm going to record this game just so I can commentate over it. I was really pissed, though. Like, none of my audio worked at all. I was like, what? What's going on? But I fixed it later. Like, uh, one or two parts from now, I think. Well, well I don't, like... I know I fixed it. I just don't remember what part it was. But yeah, so we're 70 points. And Banjo, who's in second, is 54. So yeah, we could get 8th right now and uh, still be in first. Bitch. I've honestly never done this well in the uh, endurance race. And I'm really surprised because it's also with Gruntilda. And that, um... Why is that projectile just helped me out a shit ton there because that that corner with Gruntilda isn't really easy to make and <clears throat> if you notice this is kind of like a free freezing furnace with the the split off sections at certain parts it's really not that hard so yeah whatever I I, I mean I don't do too good in the in the beginning like the first two laps. But the third lap, I really catch up and uh, get my deserved place, as you you know, my dude. And you know what's sad? The how you get the last unlockable character, which is what I will be doing and showing off. He's the best, but it's not really like you would think he's the best. That's the thing. Like you're like. Pfft. What? This guy sucks. But he's the best in the game. I mean, I don't... I, I think he's pretty cheap. Just because, he, like, that's how good he is. He's just pretty cheap. So I don't think... I don't like him as my favorite. But that's why I say, I say Ro Jolly Roger. And for the beginning of the game, Jinjo is my favorite. But, like, he's just that good. He just destroys the game. He's so cheap. And see, my deserved place is coming up. I do get hit here, which pisses me off, but I still do pretty good by, well, you'll just see. I indeed get fifth. I mean, or sixth, what? Okay, I thought I got fifth, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we're still in the lead by a lot. Well, that's about like 20, no, 18 or something like that. I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, now Jolly Roger's Lagoon, huh? <laughs> yeah, fuck this. Uh, if you remember my earlier part, I don't remember exactly what one. I think it was, I think it was actually part nine. No. Yeah, no. Eight. Eight. I think it was eight. Part eight, or whatever one I was doing the Jinjo race on, it was in this. Except it was reversed, so it was even more difficult. I mean, reverse really isn't more difficult. It's just, like, it confuses you. Because if you're used to doing just the regular tracks, you don't really, like, think, oh, I have to turn right here. Because I normally, like, I look at the map sometimes just to see, like, how close I am to people. That's it. And, wow, is it thunder? Yep, that'd be thunder. If you hear that, boom. Yeah. So it's thundering out of nowhere, even though it's pretty bright out. Oh, no, it's getting uh, pretty dark outside. Well, not dark, but just some gray clouds. Gray clouds are nine. Okay, then. So, just continuing on. I'm in seventh, which, uh, no, now I'm in fifth. Would you look at that? And I do surprisingly well at the end of this one. I'm like, well, uh, I will take this. It was just what I'm gonna say. I'll take this. Oh my God, Jinjo, what are you doing? Why do you gotta pass me? I'm just gonna have to beat the shit out of you. No oh God. <laughs> it's funny, cause without the music from the game, I just decided to put my iPod in right now. Yep. It's kind of boring with no music. But. It, it it's fixed within the next two parts. I know it's not in the next part, but the part after that, I'm positive all the audio is set again. I don't know what happened. But it was just kind of like, nope, audio corrupted. 
I was like, ah, oh, really? I'm gonna have to do post commentary. <gasps> post commentary is so gross because it's so boring. You're just sitting here, man. And now we're in Witchy World. Witchy World.